Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Monopolies and Wizards of the Coast gave Channel Fireball a monopoly on GPs. This obviously means that Channel Fireball to make more money would just keep increasing the price until they hit a point when people don't show up and need numbers for them to be profitable. And they are doing that today. Um, they are going to go ahead and say that a, it is a limited GP. So you do get four packs, a pen, a life pad, and a GP promo. But you do not get a playmat unless you pay extra. And we'll take a look at, quote, these playmats. Now, $80 a person, $240 a team. This is pretty crazy. People were very upset when Star City Games was charging quite a bit of money. But here we have a situation where GPDC and all the GPs ran by Channel Fireball will be a record-breaking amount of money. Yes, it is limited, and yes, congratulations, you get four packs. But my goodness, my goodness, right? It used to be when you got the playmat, you could sell the playmat to a vendor, like in GP Vegas, you can make some of your money back. Wow. Um, let me explain why monopolies are so bad. So monopolies are adverse for consumers, which are, is me and you. Uh, they Maintaining a competitive price is very important. The less competition a monopoly has, which is zero competi competition with Channel Fireball, the less market price pressure there is to keep its prices low. As you see, the prices keep going up and up and up, and we might have a hundred dollars a person GP very soon. Next, suppression of innovation. A thriving market allows and often requires constant innovation. So, if your pastimes or Star City games, you might want to do a a different side event or maybe some cosplay. I don't know what you're gonna do, but you want to make yourself different from Channel Fireball, which has a system. And you want these people to come in and people are willing to pay for it. I mean, people are willing to pay for add-ons and uh, extra events. Monopolies sometimes present the risk of trying. So now there's no reason for somebody to try to get a GP, to make an effort, uh, to lose money hosting a GP or doing a good job because there's no GPs available to get. Choice is limited. And that is, it's limited just to channel fireball. And that is very bad for us, the consumer, because we can't be like, oh, well, I'll go to this GP that's cheaper. There is no cheaper GP. There is just no cheaper GPs. All right. Now let's talk a little bit more about magic as a monopoly. So magic as a monopoly has, have they increased price? Yes. Price has increased drastically, and you can't say, I can't pinpoint, maybe the convention price has increased. I mean, they're making money from vendors. There's other sources that they can be making money from. And I always felt that's kind of interesting. Vendors are paying this giant vendor so they can have a booth at this GP controlled by, again, this giant vendor. So next, are they delivery acting to withhold output, which is GPs? Here, not necessarily true um, because there's only a set amount of GPs. Now, could you have a, if Channel Fireball had a event, like maybe a GPTQ or something like that, they have associated their brand with GPs. They probably could run one of those far better and have more access to the lower level events. Reduced customer. Uh, so, the popular saying is the customer is always king. Now, this should be true if the marketplace gives choice. Um, given the fact there's no choice, the customer is not king. So if we look at basic amenities like how's the lighting? Is the food good? Are the vendors quality vendors? Are people getting, I don't know, a playmat? So outside of money, there's also the concept of hey, is the quality of the materials getting worse? And the answer here would be yes. So here we have branding. So I know a lot of you will say, oh, this is a great score pad and this is a great 
deck box. This is just branding. Like, it, it's the same thing. Like, if I gave you an MTG Lion T-shirt like for free, like, and but you had to wear it at like a tournament all the time, what am I gaining, right? And then you top eight a tournament. Like, wouldn't I? Shouldn't I pay you to like wear that T-shirt? Like, why would? And that's actually it's a T-shirt, not a life pad, right? <laughs> life pads are even cheaper. It's just pennies. So people were very upset at the previous GP being $75, GP DC, same location, being $75 a person. And here they're saying that, oh, it's because Wizard of Coast only contracts out to a few people. Well, what normally happens is Channel Fireball was the best vendor and they gave a very good product at a stable price. However, why do that? You have a monopoly. It's not in your financial interest to continue. So do two things, right? It's like your favorite. Um, it's like your favorite restaurant. I have a crappy Chinese restaurant near me called China Star. I eat there all the time with my team because we're if we're past if we're like at the home office past midnight, yeah, we're getting China Star because it's the only place open. And suddenly, like now, they're using different boxes. They're, they're using the boxes for the indents, so there's less food. The box size looks the same. But because the box is instead of the volume is less. I, I know what you, a lot of people, a lot of Chinese restaurants are doing this now. They use the things where you're like you put the chicken wings here and you put the lao mein there instead of just the flat boxes which store way more food. And secondly, the price has increased. So the play mats are now an add on for $14.99. Or you could get all free play mats for $39.99. And these playmats are not ex they're not exclusive in any sense, right? You can buy them on the website for twenty dollars. This is just a money grab. I mean, isn't this just a money grab? So not only has the product got more expensive, the quality of the product has deteriorated. This is the definition of a monopoly abusing its customers. Now, will the customers all revolt? No, they're just, just going to come to the GP, pay their money, and then complain about it once it's done. Because that's how life works, right? Like life, like you have to take a stance. I was watching a documentary on the NFL, Random Cunningham, and the protest, and how you know they went on strike. They had a union. They went on strike, and the Eagles held together, and the Dallas Cowboys did not. They all just crossed the picket line. It didn't work, and none, the, the NFL players didn't get anything because enough people crossed the picket line, and then it just collapsed. And that's what's happening here. Enough of the people who are complaining are going to go to this event, shell out $100, and then not do anything. You vote with your wallet. If you think $80 is too much and you don't want to see $100 GP, then don't go. Don't give these people money. Now, if you're comfortable with 80 and that's something that you think it's a great experience and they've done extra, you got that notepad now, which you can write your score on. That's awesome. And you're like, oh, great. You know, I always wanted a notepad and I didn't really want this playmat anyway. Fine. But for the people who think this is bad, don't go. Like it's that simple. If enough, enough people say no, I'm not going to pay eighty dollars for a crappy deck box, a crappy piece of pencil, a crappy uh, score pad, and the promo that I was going to supposedly get anyway. So you cannot add the additional value in a promo because that's supposed to be given out anyway. It would be like going to F and M, and your F and M like manager or your TO tournament organizer was calculating the promo as part of the prize. It would be like, hey, so guys, uh, I need you to pay ten dollars, and we're going to do F and M, and the Fatal Push promo is ten dollars. So I'm going. That's you know your prize. Would you accept that? Would you accept that the fact that everyone's paying ten dollars because Fatal Push promo is ten dollars, and that's a prize pool when they, that store got it for free? Worst GP ever, um, and I think people need to say no, and it is. I actually I know where the money's going. I know where this money's going. It's going to YouTubers, isn't it? 
I, I saw an ad. I was on Facebook. I saw a Facebook ad, and then obviously they target me and they target MTG Line, so they're running ads on my Facebook group. And the ad was for see certain popper magician at this random GP. <laughs> Gosh. I'm going to eventually show you my old collection from Unlimited when I was in second grade. Magic has changed so much. It's been so commercialized and so just, I don't recognize it anymore from when I played it as a second grader. And maybe it's because I'm older, I'm a little more cynical, but at the same time, this is a record breaking $80 a person GP. And I don't, and it doesn't have to play mat. So there you go. It's $100 if you want to play Matt. Bye, guys.